Hey brothers and sisters, it's me again Peter and today is Friday. Today I just want to share a word of encouragement as we head towards the weekend and I hope each and every one of you are doing fine and you guys are staying safe. Today I just want to give a testimony of what the Lord has been doing in my life and what the Lord has done in my life. Uh, about four weeks ago I got infected with uh, COVID-19 but uh, right now I'm well. God healed me and uh it was tough at the beginning with the symptoms and the like my chest i had so much chest pain but uh that quarantine 14 days really like i i really spent a lot of time with the lord during that time and actually i can see i've seen the hand of god he had he, he has healed me and all that time i just kept feeling the holy spirit with me and i did not panic or have you know fear because i know our god is still on his throne and if it was my time well i could have said you know what it's my time but um it wasn't my time not yet but uh our god healed me and i'm fine and i'm so thankful of what the lord has done in my life and brothers and sisters i want to encourage you if anyone is going through this through this um infection or You've been infected somehow you have COVID-19 I just want to encourage you to know that there is a God there is a God who does not sleep the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob trust in him and he will see you through all this uh, plague that has inflicted the whole world we both know that this is the part of the end times uh, waves that are coming and major waves are coming big time Life, life is not going to be the same as it, it has always been. Things are going to change. And uh, brothers and sisters, if you're going through the same thing or you, you're sick or you're being worried or you're panicking, do not panic. Do not panic. Be, trust in God and he will see you through all this. Trust in him. Through all this pandem pandemic, God can turn this, all what's happening around right now into good because a lot of people right now you know, are asking questions, like, are wondering, like, what's happening throughout the world, you know, like, all these plagues and uh, locusts in Africa and hurricanes and earthquakes in diverse places. Things are getting really intense, even for someone who doesn't believe it's getting their attention. So uh, I guess right now, th this is the perfect moment right now to, to, to preach and spread the gospel because time, the time i mean the time we don't have much time you know uh the time of the fulfillment of all things is at hand and actually soon i'll be doing an episode of the book of daniel uh what the lord has been showing me uh he has always he has put that in my heart since last year you know about this statue of daniel this uh, this statue that nebuchadnezzar saw the statue of man uh, head of gold, I, I guess the chest of silver and the stomach of bronze and the legs of iron and how each kingdom, you know, each kingdom fell, like how, it, it, the, I'm telling you, this is going to be huge, you know, what I can say is <laughs> we don't have much time, the kingdom of God is coming, the tribulation is coming and we are already seeing like we are already seeing this storm approaching and it's approaching real fast and we have to be prepared, well prepared, you know, in our hearts, you have to be right with God before all these things come. So brothers and sisters, I hope you get encouraged by this video today and uh, keep preaching the gospel and never give up, never give up, Pre keep preaching the gospel, uh, keep waiting on the Lord and keep trusting in him. Because everyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. I love you, brothers and sisters. And uh, soon I'm going to be uh, doing that Daniel episode. And I'm going to share with you guys what the Lord has uh, has shown me, what the Holy Spirit has shown me. And uh, I remember last year, uh, it started last year around December. That's when, that's when the Holy Spirit was pressing me to study the book of Daniel, especially that dream nebuchadnezzar had so 
I studied about that dream and you know how Daniel interpreted that dream and everything and I followed those kingdoms that Daniel mentioned uh, the Mizan, the Persian, uh, Greece and finally the Roman Empire and everything so I you know I was just studying history and comparing to the Word of God and everything and I was super amazed and I will share more in the coming videos um, I remember telling my wife you know you know everything has pretty much happened you know Israel has God has brought the children of Israel back in the land Israel is a nation again for the first time in 2000 years Jerusalem is the capital city of Jeru uh, uh, Israel I mean Jerusalem is the capital city of Israel again and something has to happen something has to happen things just cannot continue as they are you know something has to happen that's why I told my wife last year you know and it's it's amazing to see where we are right now it's amazing to see where we are so anyway god bless you all and uh keep safe and keep praying and keep look, looking up because our redemption truly doeth not i love you all and jesus loves you all peace